All right, welcome back to Between Rounds here for Heavy.com and uh, another guest. We've got John Gunderson, UFC fighter here with us. who traveled all the way to Abu Dhabi at UFC 112 and was uh, unable to fight due to his opponent, correct? That's true. What happened? From what I understand, he just um, may have cut too much weight, wasn't feeling good, and was up all night with migraines. And the day of the fight, about an hour and a half before... The fight started, we were on the bus to the arena, and they pulled uh, Sean Tompkins, my coach, off. But now that was a little, like, scary, right? I mean, people are like, why are these officials pulling Tompkins off the bus? I, there, was two, there was only two things I could think of at the time. <laughs> the first thing that came to mind was that uh, two of my buddies that, well, there was four of us in the room, and three of the guys had gone uh, across the street at a little pool party and threw a, uh, one of the princes in the pool having a little bit of fun. Oh, so that was the so one. That was the one thing. That, that was the can't. first thing that went because we were, you know, obviously in Abu Dhabi, so I was, didn't know if they were going to chop our heads off for that or <laughs> what was going to happen. And then, of course, the other thing was, uh, you know, maybe something happened at home with my family. Those were the only two things, like, you know, I thought of right. on the way to the fight. Exactly. Yeah, you would think anything that had to do with the fight would have been yeah. taken care of. Already. I already seen him at Wayne's. I thought everything was good to go. Right. Um, and Sean comes on the bus a couple minutes later and tells me, you know, the fight's off, so. Well, but then it's on again now, right? Yep, it's on again. They've, they've just announced that you'll fight Paul Taylor at the Ultimate Fighter finale mm -hmm. at the Palms uh, June 9th, I believe. June 19th. 19th. June 19th. And, uh, I mean, what do you do? <laughs> it's, it's like, uh, do you go back to the drawing board and start all over, yeah, or what I mean, do you do? It, in my opinion, it's better for me now because now I don't have to travel. Um, right. I live here in Vegas. I train here in Vegas. He's got to travel a lot further than he had to to Abu Dhabi. Right. He's got to cut the weight again. So, and he's got to deal with not showing up last time. I showed up, I was ready to fight. <laughs> exactly. So it's the same game plan, and he just gives me another two months to prepare for him. So. Right. Especially given the fact that you traveled all the way to Abu Dhabi for that fight, what was it like? I mean, obviously it was a disappointment, but I mean, as a fighter, you, you know, you're, it's, it's game day, it's time to go. What is that like to find out? fights off like that. I don't even know how to explain that. <laughs> um, you know, I, I don't know. It was like I was, I was blowing up a balloon for about a year and all of a sudden someone walked by and popped it. I was, I was ready to go. Um, I was mentally, in, you know, just set to fight and right. to find that out, I was just, it was, a, it was a big letdown because, I mean, I got my money, but that's not, that's not where I really want, right. wanted to right. go there. I wanted to go there to fight and, you know, every, every, Man and every fighter has a, a legacy to set of his own, and you know that was that was one step towards mine. So right. I'll get to redeem myself, and you know, come back here and, and show what I can do on the 19th of June. Well, as far as your experience in Abu Dhabi, obviously it was a disappointment without being able to fight. But what was it like there? I, mean, I, I didn't like it. I wouldn't <laughs> want to go back. I didn't. I didn't like it at all. It was hot. Um, you know, and I was going there to fight, so I didn't get to experience anything. I didn't get, think get to travel and have a lot of fun around there. I, right. I, I don't know what the city looks like. I just know there's a lot of buildings that are not completely built and you know, a lot of money being wasted there. But. <laughs> well, now, speaking of which, was it before or after the fight was canceled that you got your laundry bill? It was before. It was, I think it was probably three days before. Really? So it was just one thing after another then? <laughs> yes, yes, it was. What exactly happened? You go to get your laundry done and you find out? Well, it's half, half me and my... And my uh, training partners fall we we need to get some laundry done we've been there you know we're spending there I think eight days there so of course you don't bring everything that you need you need to get some laundry done so we looked at the list and you know we were like ah we'll we'll see what we can do right. and when one of the ladies walked by that works there and we we're like hey you know can we get this laundry done we couldn't understand what she said she couldn't understand what we said so we <laughs> thought we were getting one over on her right. we we're like yeah yeah do it you know cheap cheap give us a good right. deal right. so we were you know that was a good deal and uh, the next day, <laughs> they bring the laundry all pressed and folded, and all it was was workout clothes. Right. You know, five dollar shirts, and they bring it back, and they came out to two hundred fifty dollars. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> wow. <laughs> yeah, eight hundred and something Durham is what. It, so you would have done some shopping instead. <laughs> yeah, and we did everything we could to try to get it cheaper, but, but the, no one was having it. No. no. <laughs> we, we thought we could talk our way out of it, but it didn't. Try to give the bill to Dana White. No, 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 definitely not. <laughs> not at all. Yeah. All right, John. Well, obviously, we're going to look forward to the fight uh, that we were going to see. Uh, I think you're right. I think you might have the advantage here 
mentally anyway because of the of the fact that uh, he's going to be coming off some issues and uh, he's got a long way to travel. Uh, we'll be at the Ultimate Fighter, so hopefully we'll get you on maybe that week and uh, get you back here and, and get your thoughts before the fight. Sounds good. All right, John Gunderson, UFC fighter. We'll be right back here in between rounds for Heavy.com.